I'm Eples Vox here to make tech more fun and easier via free educational videos like this one, this time with another microphone review as well as a mixer review. Every time I talk about XLR related microphones, I mention a later upgrading to a more proper mixer and I never really give any examples because there's a plethora of examples available. Well, this time we have a $13 microphone hooked up to a $40 mixer for a total of $50 to $60 to $70 audio setup that you basically never need to touch again but still gives you the full expandability to upgrade if you do see fit later on. Now this whole first part of the recording has been processed audio samples with a little EQ and compression, so we're going to drop back down to the raw audio as we talk about the microphone and setup. So this is the Monoprice Professional Dynamic Microphone, specifically model number 60020. They don't really have a fancy name for it. It's just the Monoprice Dynamic Microphone. It costs you $12.99 on Monoprice's website, which is a hell of a deal for any decent quality microphone whatsoever. This is a dynamic microphone, which means it rejects background noise at a very great level. Like, it does a really good job rejecting background noise. It is unidirectional, so like that last Audio-Technica mic we reviewed, it starts to get a little quiet when you start to get off to the sides. When you start to get off to the sides, it gets a little quiet, in case you couldn't hear what I just said. Uh, but it is an XLR mic, which means it's an analog mic. It's going to be very high quality. You can do a lot to it with uh, processing, EQ, compression, things like that. And I have it hooked up here to the Behringer Zenix 302 USB mixer. This is a tiny little $40 mixer, which allows you to do a lot more with your audio setup. With this mixer, you can record this microphone via USB and listen to it as you record with the headphone jack. But you can also hook up a couple other audio sources, uh, which they refer to as line and two track via the red and white RCA adapter or cables. And you can get adapters from 3.5 millimeter or whatever hooked up to it as well. And it can also take in sound via USB. So it can act as a USB sound card and you can record all that to the stream or you know, recording or what have you, if you want as well. It can also hook up to your gaming headset. It has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and microphone jack. So if you, you know, you do a lot of live streaming or recording with a professional mic, but sometimes you just want to kick back with a gaming headset, you can hook that right up and mix it and use it all through this mixer. It also has three band EQ for the line in and the microphone in. Uh, this microphone so you can play around with EQ start to learn audio processing techniques equalizing techniques how to improve your audio and Make it sound a little better mine is set to completely flat or neutral that way I could add some software audio processing which I'll kick on right now So you have a general idea of what kind of really good audio you can pull out of it But this is a fantastic little setup all for cheaper than you can get like a blue yeti and for about the price of a blue snowball but this is modular it's expandable it's upgradable you can replace this mic with a better one later and there's plenty of great xlr mics most good mics are xlr so you can add them all into the mixer it's just such a cool little setup and i've been wanting to recommend this for over a year i bought this back when i bought that last audio technica mic i reviewed back in march 2016 I haven't got around to making the video, but I strongly, strongly want to recommend this setup as just the starter audio setup for anyone making content. Now, if you want an example of someone else who uses this microphone, this very microphone, my buddy, uh, the, the YouTuber formerly known as Falcon, he's now, he's just rusty. He does a WWE content show. He does live streams and content around wrestling. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, go check him out. Uh, but he uses this microphone as well. So uh, you can check some of his samples for some more audio samples of what you can do with it. But this is a powerful microphone, a powerful mixer, and a very just fantastic setup for very cheap. This is a test of the Monoprice Pro Audio Dynamic Microphone number 600020 plugged into a Tascam US1800 USB audio device. I use this normally for my videos on a daily basis. There is little to zero processing on this other than some noise gate and some gain leveling going on. I've got everything set to stop at a negative 0.05 dB on my audio input capture. Windows levels are set to 100. This is a test of the Monoprice Pro Audio Dynamic Microphone number 600020 for Epos Vox. I continue to make these videos as I see there is no excuse for bad audio in your YouTube videos. 
There is always solutions, and I'm going to keep hammering that home with every audio review I can do. So this is the Monoprice Dynamic Microphone for $13, and the Behringer Zenix 302 USB Mixer for about $40. Great little setup. I will have product links in the description below. They will be affiliate links of some sort, but with the full kit worked out and maybe a couple other cheap sample audio kits with some of these hardware pieces uh, for you to work out. And yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, get subscribed for more awesome tech videos. Let me know what you think about this microphone for its $13 price tag in the comments down below. And I will see you next time. I'm Box signing off for this review. I don't usually do cheap things like that. I don't know what people do.